Hey travel enthusiasts, have you ever meticulously planned the perfect getaway, saved up for months, only to be met with the dreaded message, insufficient funds at checkout? Yeah, it's a travel nightmare. That's why picking the right travel credit card is crucial. It can be the difference between sipping cocktails on a beach and, well, staying home. Today, we're diving deep into the world of the United Explorer card. This popular card from Chase offers a bunch of perks for frequent flyers on United Airlines. But the question remains, what's the spending limit on this bad boy? Before we answer that, let's take a quick detour and understand why spending limits even exist. It might seem counterintuitive for a bank to put a cap on how much you can spend with their plastic. But think of it this way. They're basically saying, hey, we trust you with this line of credit, but let's not go overboard, okay? It protects them from a financial meltdown if you suddenly decide to buy a private jet with your miles. Tempting, I know, but probably not the best use of your points. Okay, back to the United Explorer card. Here's the thing. Unlike some credit cards that come with a preset spending limit, Chase doesn't advertise a specific number for the United Explorer card. That might sound a little confusing, but hold on, it's actually not that complicated. Chase uses a system called creditworthiness to determine your spending limit. In simpler terms, it's all about your financial history. So, what exactly does creditworthiness mean? Here are some key factors that influence your spending limit. Your credit score, this is the big one. A high credit score, generally above 740, tells Chase you're a responsible borrower and are likely to pay your bills on time. This translates to a higher spending limit. Your income, the more money you make, the more Chase trusts you can handle a higher credit line. Your existing debt. If you're already carrying a lot of debt on other cards, Chase might be cautious and give you a lower limit. Your credit history. How long have you had credit cards? Do you have a history of paying your bills on time? These factors all play a role. Okay, that's all great, but how do I estimate my spending limit? While there's no guaranteed formula, there are ways to get a ballpark figure. Here are some tips. Check your pre-approval offers. Many credit card issuers, including Chase, offer pre-approval tools on their website. This allows you to see if you qualify for a card and potentially get an estimated spending limit without impacting your credit score. Look at similar cards. Research other travel credit cards with similar benefits and see what their average reported spending limits are. This can give you a rough idea. Consider your spending habits. Be realistic about how much you plan on spending on travel and other purchases with the card. Don't request a limit that's way higher than you can comfortably handle. Remember, a higher spending limit isn't always a good thing. It might tempt you to overspend, leading to hefty interest charges and potential financial trouble. Choose a limit that fits your budget and spending habits. Here's a bonus tip. Once you get your United Explorer card, you can always request a credit line increase later on. If your credit score improves or your income increases, Chase might be more likely to bump up your limit. Just make sure you have a good track record of on-time payments and responsible credit card use. So, there you have it. While the United Explorer card doesn't come with a preset spending limit, understanding creditworthiness and your financial situation can help you estimate what your limit might be. Remember, responsible credit card use is key to unlocking the full potential of travel rewards cards like the United Explorer. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, happy travels!